It's a gruesome Sunday morning for the Parohino family as four family members and 11 supporters died after a police operation past 2 a.m. In Comet Ozami City, Mayor Reynaldo Parohino Sr., his wife Susan, siblings Mona and Octavio, and 11 security personnel and supporters were all killed in the raid. Ozami's police says they were conducting a joint implementation of search warrants against Mayor Reynaldo Parohino Sr., Vice Mayor Nova Parohino, Reynaldo Parohino Jr., and four more relatives and supporters for illegal possession of firearms and ammunition. Authorities say they were about to serve the warrant simultaneously in six different locations when the mayor's security and supporters guarding his residence immediately fired upon the cops. Police says one of Parohino's security even attempted to throw a hand grenade to the police but ended up dropping it inside the mayor's house. Nabaril yung security ni mayor sa loob na so pumutok yung hand grenade doon lang mismo sa kanila. Recovered from the crime scene were dozens of high-powered firearms and ammunition and the 1.4 million pesos in cash. Police also seized more than a kilo of illegal drugs inside the mayor and vice mayor's houses. Ozami's mayor and vice mayor were on President Duterte's list of narco-politicians, but they've repeatedly denied the allegations. Ebidensya tayo ng papatutoo na talagang ang drugs galing sa kanila sa taas. Ozamis City Police says it has seen a link between the illegal drug trade in Ozamis and the new beloved prison. Ozamis City Vice Mayor Nova Princess Parohinog emotionally hugs her daughter Sofia. Hours after her arrest, together with her brother Reynaldo Parohino Jr. and 13 others after the raid. She appeals to President Duterte and lawmakers to investigate the police operations that killed her parents. From our end. I am asking President Duterte to investigate this and Senate of the Philippines. But police says there was no violation and they followed protocol. Paano naman natin ma-enforce kung ganun lang tayo, magpa-bribe tayo, tako tayo sa mga drug lord in which hindi man yun pwede. In Ozami City, Camille Abadisho, CNN Philippines.